Hello, young friends. Jai Hind. Greetings. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Group Captain Ek Shivastuva. Young friends, those who have been following me on this channel will find me appearing on this channel after a very long time. Certainly, there are certain personal reasons for that. But those people who have appeared on this channel for the first time. I feel it is necessary that I give them a small introduction. Young friends, I am Group Captain A.K. Srivastava, a retired education officer of the Indian Air Force. I am a student of psychology. I have done my master's in psychology and a super specialization from London. I have remained active in the Air Force Selection Boards for a long time. I have also remained in the field of training and education for the Indian Air Force. Young friends, as of now, I provide online mentorship and guidance to the young aspirants and also I give dossier evaluation and counseling to those people who approach me for that. Friends, my numbers are mentioned here. In case you require any of these services, you are most welcome to contact me. Young friends, ab, aaj ki baat par aate hain. For the last about a couple of weeks, many students, many young aspirants, they have approached me for dossier evaluation and one or maybe two or three of such people, they had given me an information. And that information is about the availability of the actual pictures which are utilized in the TAT test at the you know, selection boards. I was a little you know, surprised and uh, frankly speaking, I couldn't believe that the pictures which are actually being used could be available in the public zone till the time one of my you know, the mentees shared a few pictures. And yes, it's a fact that some of the pictures which are actually used in the selection boards, they are out in the public zone. Friends, before I give my comments on such a situation, huh, I would like you to be reminded of verse number 5 of chapter 6 of Srimad Bhagavad Gita. And it says, and you can read it here, Udharet Atmanat Manam Nat Manam Avasedayat Atmaiva Hi Atmano Bandho Atmaiva Ripurat Manaha Friends, a translation is given here. One should lift oneself by one's own efforts and should not degrade oneself. For one is one's own self is one's own friend, and one's own self is one's own enemy. Ab, let's connect the thoughts of this particular verse to the situation. Friends, please remember that depending on something which is out in the public zone is not going to help you any way. Agar aapke paas 2, 4, 10 aisi pictures aabhi gai, to aap kya kar lenge? Zyada se zyada un pictures ke oopar, aap pehle se hi kuch stories bana lenge. 1, 2, 3, whatever is there. Friends, Please remember, this is a very, very unhealthy approach. The selection boards, they believe in testing your abilities. They are not going to test you for your 
memory or capacity to retain something. Why? Please remember, friends, that merely entering the cadre of officers and after that, the life will be absolutely a bed of roses. Such a belief is merely an illusion. Please remember that entry is perhaps one of the smallest steps in the life of a military officer. You have to survive there. You have to consolidate yourself. You have to grow up. And you should be ready to take up the higher responsibilities, which you is which is possible only when you have got the qualities. Okay. Look at the second sentence of the slide, which is flashed on the screen. You have to perform and progress in the organization, and you will convince your superiors that you can, you are capable of. Sorry, I think this word care is you are capable of taking higher responsibilities. Friends, remember that it is not your friends or superior officer, but your actual merit is tested by your enemy in the battlefield. And please remember that the life of a military officer is every time at his stake in the battlefield if, his, if he is divided of the merit or the qualities. You can give a pseudo perception of your qualities, of your imagination, but what you are going to do in the battlefield when some tactical decision is required. Friends, remember that being familiar and harping on familiarity is only a reflection on the lack of your poor self-confidence. Friends, remember that there is something called as CPSS. During our times, it used to be called as the pilot aptitude battery test. This test, you know, is given only once in a lifetime. Did you pay attention? Aapne is baat ko socha ki dusri baar test kyo nahi diya jata? क्योंकि अगर ये फैमिलियर हो जाने के बाद अगर टेस्ट दिया जाता है तो इट गिव्स ओनली फॉल्स रिजल्ट्स इसलिए प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट द एबिलिटी टेस्ट्स दे आर नॉट गिवन इन द फैमिलियर सिचुएशन अगर आपने दो चार दस पंद्रह बीस पिक्चर्स के ऊपर आपने स्टोरी बना भी लिया तो भी आई एम अफ्रेड First, this is a reflection on your underconfidence. And second is it will give a spurious result. You may sneak in the system all right, but you will not be in a position to sustain, perform and consolidate yourself. Another thing is, when you are already aware of a particular, you know, a few pictures, and you have already made, let us say, the stories. You are going against the basic principles of psychology. Friends, those who have taken guidance from me, batches after batches, I have harped on one point. I will tell you one thing. Please remember that psychology believes in the principle of enormity of responses. In one situation, mein, so many responses are possible in that situation. Your imagination, if it is yours, it can create so many a multiple stories. It will prove that you are a person with the divergent abilities, divergent imagination. When you will be going with an already prepared story, it will make you rigid. It will make you convergent. I'm afraid in such a situation, not only you will be caught, but you will not be in a position to convince the selection boards about your merit. 
I again say that battlefield is a very, very crucial field and it certainly will test your abilities only and not your power to retain certain facts. And that is why, friends, instead of going with the pre-prepared stuff, please raise your merit. Please prove your worth to the selection boards. And this is the thing which I have been harping right from my first video onwards. Please do not repeat, do not depend on the pseudo perception about your merit. Let your shadow not be bigger than your substance. Because in such a situation, you will certainly be not only deluding yourself, but it will it it amounts to doing a great disservice to the system to the country and to the armed forces and friends i have told the same fact so many times on so many fora and on so many occasions that entry is not everything you must Understand that fact, the fact that the armed forces will be keeping you or will be pushing you in a situation which will be very, very difficult for a normal person. And therefore, for your preparations, please depend on your merit rather than the show of the merit. Young friends, on this channel, you will find a lot of videos which will be educating you about the misnomers which are prevalent in the ecosystem of SSB training and they will certainly correct your vision. They will be correcting your attitude towards the preparations. Please visit my channel, watch the videos, like, subscribe, interact with me, give your comments, spread your words. And these are the numbers on which you can contact me for dozier evaluation and online you know, guidance and mentorship programs. Friends, as far as the second batch of July is concerned, I'll be announcing it soon. Hopefully, they will commence anytime after 20th of July. Thank you very much for your patience. God bless you. Have a nice day.